On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Running game, but no nothing that just blew people away, but a nice, solid base to get things started. And they expect that to get tuned up and get better as the season moves on. And, um, get it. and this would be quite a start for them if they could win two straight on the road. Yeah, the schedule makers didn't do them any favors. They gave them two road games right out of the gate, but the thinking on the team has to be, imagine if we win these two games. They'll look to throw here. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Good play. And a result here. It's second and a couple. They'll set up to throw. And he's got it. And just shy of the goal. It's a quarterback sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. It's their quarterback, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans will jump on top of the game's first score. Stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Because yeah, they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Love to get out the rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling this flag on that one. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play. Ten. Ten. He'll look to throw. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to Woods. And then a... Nick Red. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Touchdown! Okay. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now... Pierce has it knocked loose. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And his guys will take 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's going to get there a good to start game the to drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to them. And that time, worked well for a solid game. For a dozen, yeah, they had a first down. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he'll work it across midfield inside the In the Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 43. Escaping the pressure right. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good 16. for 20 here for first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Quick slam here to Woods. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. It ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. He was one of the most precise route runners at any position during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Barry, but he has a just this. Forthcoming on third and eight. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. The Cardinals going to use. Back to throw again. This is caught. And the Texas. They'll run here with Pierce. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Yeah, but that's the linebackers have brought a little bit of speed and heft. And, they... and he's going to have to eat this when his down he goes. After the session, third and goal now from the 12. Oh, the pressure too great by the defense. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they take it. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a second. It's a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown. 
Houston. Robert Woods as the first half is winding down. And the Texans the defense would still giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back. Maybe they need at least three here on this one. That's last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Get out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the track. He's taking the chance to now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt. No the defenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Now the first play had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. Here's first and 10. Give him five. Back to throw. His throw incomplete. Pass. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Side, it's complete. Able to get the third down conversion. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Brevin Jordan, his first touchdown. It's running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because Since they control, control the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first. Put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Finding a third. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that would not be picked off? And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Cards are going to take possession. Points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he'll get this to 44 as they try again on first down. Pierce now up the middle. Can't get the ball is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys that are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him draw the bigger plays in the game thus far, the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this will be caught by Brown. And they're going to have another first down as it's... Here's Pierce on the counter. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, to the find a way to throw it effectively as well. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And this time, not quite to. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be brought down at the 27. On play action, they'll throw. Looking left side, and it's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They run here with Singletary, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Again, it'll be Singletary. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's done. This is a big play, third and goal. They'll run for it with Pierce, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown. Houston, Damian Pierce, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of this. This offense gets ready to take over. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And it's a run to run now. And a good job of finding the open space. It looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. 
First down, they go right back to Pierce. And he works his way free. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Gets the dump off to Pierce. And they're going to get this down. He's a good response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And I think they might have something in this young rookie quarterback because he certainly looked the part. I have to ask you a question. Are you thinking, similar to what I'm thinking, that these rookie quarterbacks, they come in more prepared than ever before? Year after year, they just seem more comfortable from day one. I think you start really young now. These quarterback coaches, they play against a better competition. They go to camps across the country. Then they play big-time games in college. So when they get to the NFL, it's not quite the same, how would you say it, pressure that they felt in years past. And these kids just go out and perform. And keep in mind, he led them to a road victory here. Even more impressive.